Hello, minions. Ooh, quick save. Munchmo back with more. Um, what is this called? This is called, um, um, Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so here we are around, um, this moon that we've been around for a while now. And I've got myself lined up a bit with my ships, although they, it's hard keeping this many ships all working together. Um, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to bring them all together here. And the first thing I want to do is bring the replacements together with the Sciencer. Because the way these ships are going to have to fit together to do what they need to do, I need to take one of the little things off of the replacements and pop it on here. And I'll show you what I mean once we get over to it. We've only got about a kilometer to go here. So let's put ourselves right there and let's take a look at our map. Our map, our outer screen and see... Oh, this is just getting so tricky. Um, I think we're moving away from it now. Aren't we or are we? I don't know. Let's just burn towards it a little bit here. We got a ways to go. We'll get it to about 10 or so meters a second, I think. Because there's a ton of fuel left in this thing, and I'm going to get it out of here. But I need to be able to maneuver this ship to do that, you know? So, okay, that might be good enough. Let's see how... Actually, no, no, no. Before we do that, let's put ourselves on the retrograde of... Uh, our velocity to the target right now because we're gonna have to kill it off and I don't want to use much um much uh fuel or I don't, I don't, I don't want to use RCS monopropellant to do this unless until I you know have to use it for maneuvering and actually docking uh, because I there's a limited supply out here and getting more out here is going to be the biggest pain in the butt ever because it's so far out and such a long trip. Okay, that's pretty good there. Okay. So, how close are we going to get? We're going to get within 300 meters of this thing, and that's good. That's fine. Um, but yeah, I got to bring these two together to just just so I can have them near-ish each other and get one of those little probe cores attached to the fuel tank here so I can maneuver it. Once I've done that, I need to get the fuel dump in so they can move everything together and just dump all the fuel into the fuel dump and get rid of everything else. Uh, which is going to take a little bit of effort and a little bit of time. But I can handle that. All right, here we go. Six, five, four. Okay, here we go. Start killing our velocity now-ish, because 500 meters isn't bad. Although 300 meters is even better. So I'm going to slowly kill off my, uh, my momentum here, my target velocity, like this, in the hopes of being able to bring them close and then just bring that little doohickey over here and just attach it because that's what it boils down to is I really want to get these guys hooked up um so I haven't really played much since the last episode aired because I've been busy with so many other things but uh right now we're going to work on orbital maneuvers no not orbital maneuvers uh rendezvous maneuvers okay here quick 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 let's move ourselves more on target here please there we go we only have about a meter a second left to go once we get down to point 0.1, I th think there. Okay, point 0.1 meter a second. That's pretty good. So we will switch to this guy. No, I want to switch to that guy. Here we go. So here we are with the replacements. And our target for the replacements is going to be the science search, just so I can see it easier and where it's at. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch to control from here. Bam. Okay. And then I'm going to decouple one of these things and okay I'm not controlling from there anymore so I gotta switch to it there we go okay so if I hit one it should extend the panels now I forgot to set up my action groups properly so we're gonna extend all of these panels because I need the power for what I'm about to do okay good okay we got this so we still have our target set that's pretty cool so this thing's just gonna kind of float away and I hope I do this right um these are the little panels. Ooh, this thing is so maneuverable. We've got to turn our RCS on to do the movement here. Is this our target? This should be our target here, right? Okay, so if we hit R to turn the RCS on, and then is it H? Nope, nope, wrong way. This way to go forward. Okay, there we go. <laughs> tricky, tricky, tricky. Am I controlling from the wrong spot? Maybe that's part of the problem. If we control from here. There we go. That's better. 
I knew it was backwards, sort of. But we're still on target. Uh, let's go H now. Okay, there we go. H was backwards. That's why I had it wrong. So you go H up to about 5 meters a second. This little core is cool. It's, I, I love this thing. It's got a ton of charge because it's a giant battery. And it's got a big old tank of mono repellent. Good for much use. And it should it's really, really maneuverable. So this is really cool. I love the fact that I unlocked more cores now. Um... But once you get this on there, then we got to get the fuel dump over here with these guys. So, that's where it comes out. Because, actually, hold on, let me look here. This is, that's the replacements. So that has to dock. Yeah, the docking that I set up on this is just so wrong. I shouldn't have done it the way I did. Or I should have done it smarter or something. I don't know what I was thinking when I designed this thing, but it works. You know, it works. Let's go a little faster here because I'm kind of getting bored floating through space with my little probe core and I gotta make sure I can stop in time so I don't crash into it because I don't want to lose these solar panels all right let's uh kill off some of that momentum there we go we need to go to the side oh crap I do not have this thing rotated correctly okay hold on let's let's turn off the RCS here real quick turn it back on kill our forward momentum perfect okay now let's figure out if we can get ourselves lined up correctly so which okay so we need to rotate it kind of like is it like this is that right yeah that's right and then this is down this is up all right cool i'm getting it here so i want to rotate it this way now so this is the side that's the top and we're just going to latch on to one of these uh, little things here so now rcs on again to go up you guys have seen me do this whole rendezvous thing before, so... It's not too tough. Oops. But this thing is so maneuverable with all of this, uh... This stuff. The stuff! Okay, once we get it lined up here... I gotta... Oop. Okay, slow me, slow me down. Slow me down. Drop me down. Now we need to go over this way. I like to work in one dimension at a time as best I can because it's tricky if you don't. Okay, so now that we get it lined up here, luckily this should be pretty easy, especially since it's so small. Okay, a little bit more this way. I have to rotate it just a little. Actually, we shouldn't even have to rotate it to snap it in. I'll tell you what. Okay, which way are we going here? We got to. Wrong way, okay. We're almost there, even. How do you like them apples? Okay. That should be... Oops. Okay, there. Like this. Oop, wrong way. And then we just go... Down like this, and that should just snap right into place, I hope. Probably want to rotate just a tiny bit that way, just to match it up, and... Oh, we missed. We totally missed. H back this way, that way, and we missed again. We missed again. How are we missing so much? Oh, 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 up. I'm getting ahead of myself, I think. That's the problem. I'm not, I'm not being as careful as I should be here, so I need to go this way. Got to line up all my angles is what I got to do. Okay, right there. Okay, now let's check the other angle. See, that's that's why I, I'm getting ahead of myself is part of the problem. I'm getting antsy. I'm I'm excited. I'm very excited about what's happening here, and so I'm not pausing to take a moment to make sure everything's lining up correctly. So we got to go back. There we go. Snap into place, and we got a probe core. So now we can control this sucker easily when we detach this thing. That's what I really wanted to get done first. So now that we've got that. These guys are not moving very much. So the next step is to get this fuel dump to meet up with those two vessels so that we can do some real maneuvering and get things attached to this because this is going to be our main station around this planet, basically. Um, and right now it has gotten way out of whack with the that guy. Okay. So I need to figure out what I need to do to get a better meet with it here. We need to, what do we need to do? We need to kind of go this way, 
And go this way. Oh, I don't even know. Do I need to slow down? Speed up? I think I need to speed up, actually, and do an orbit or something for us to really get a good meeting. Yeah, there we go. Like, over there. That, that 10 kilometers. And the best part is because of the gravity in this planet, or this... Oh, there we go. 1.2 kilometers. This is going to be a tiny 2 meter a second burn. How do you like that? So that's the great thing about working around such a low gravity thing, is that it doesn't take a lot to do it. It really does not. So, awesome. Okay, let's get these guys going here. Should be pretty easy. And really, honestly, we don't have to pay too much attention to the actual timing of the burn. It's more, um, kind of a suggestion. Because it doesn't really matter where we do it, I don't think. It should work either way. There we go. So we will kill this maneuver now that we're on target and just do a little quick, tiny little burn. And watch as it gets closer and closer and closer and closer and closer. And whoop, right about there should do. That will... Actually, maybe not. Did I go too far? How's this? 21. Oh, did I not do it enough? Oh, man, maybe I should have paid more attention to... There we go. There we go. Okay. Two. There. Perfect. One. Perfect. Okay, so now we just wait as we fast forward. And you see where our orbit goes outside of this one just enough to get us a rendezvous here. And while we're doing this, let's actually hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's slow it down. Let's let's switch to the replacements real quick. Because I want to make sure that these guys over here that are moving one meter a second aren't moving towards each other, 0.1 meters a second. Because the last thing I want to have them do is crash into each other. So let's uh, control from here. Let's see where our... Okay, that is our target. So our target is below us. The question is, are we moving towards them or are we moving away from them? Our retrograde is here. We'll pass them by, so we got to kind of be careful what's going to happen, but I think we should be able to just kind of kill off the last little bit of our momentum with a slight push with our RCS here. So we toggle that. RCS, just a tiny little retrograde push. And psh, come on, just, just a little bit. Okay, that should hopefully maybe, hopefully, I hope that was enough, because it still gives us a 0.1 second here, but I don't know where exactly that is. So we'll, we'll watch it from here. Um, and let's set up a maneuver node over here so we know approximately where we're going to be while we watch this as we get closer to the other guys here. So we're going to speed up time and watch. Okay, so we're still getting closer to this guy. That's okay. We don't mind getting closer because we're not actually going to move away. But as you can see now, our... Yeah, we got to kill off some more momentum, it seems, because we're going to end up missing them just a little bit. 200 meters away. Wow, that's pretty darn close. So let's go here. Come on. Nope, 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 nope. Hold it right there. Turn the RCS back on. Just a little bit of burn. A little bit of... There we go. And that just kind of killed us again there. And then we will go ahead and fast forward time again and see what happens. We're still moving towards it. So let's see if we can't figure out where our um, retrograde is now compared to the target. It's so finicky, the size of the vehicle and everything, because as we move, it uh, our you know it shifts where we're actually moving towards our velocity or whatever. Where is this thing? It's like, as we rotate, it's literally turning around. So let's just, let's just burn a face away from this guy. Just a little bit to make it easier for us. Keep spinning. Because I have a feeling we're moving still directly towards it. Yeah, we will. Oh, now we're moving away from it. Really? Ugh. Okay, so we'll put ourselves on this like that, okay, and then we're going to, right, we're on it, still moving one meter per second, okay, so if we go here, 
good one warp go just a little bit backwards maybe there we go maybe I just got to be very careful I want to keep these guys pretty close to each other without them getting too far apart so maybe I did that wrong maybe I gotta move that Ugh. okay at least I know where my um my prograde is so if I just face the prograde approximately and push in the opposite direction I should be okay we still have an hour two hours of this crap before I uh, even get to where these guys are okay so here we go RCS on and is it in RCS off. Oh, I don't want to use up all my RCS doing this either, which is part of the, another part of the problem, but I just want to kill off my relative velocity to my target completely. There we go. Oh, we're almost on it. Almost on it. Okay, that's where it needs to be. So up here, don't pay attention to the actual marker itself and just... Oops, wrong button. Okay, that's where it is. So if we just turn on our RCS, hit this button here, just a little bit. Gosh darn it, why is it throttling? Okay, so it's up here. Woo! One meter a second is all, or point one meter a second is all it takes to throw us off target. There. And now we're... Hopefully that'll do. Hopefully that'll do. Because we're still sitting pretty... Okay, we're moving away from it now, but that's okay. Let's see how far away we get in the hour. Oh, Jesus. That's no good. I have to constantly adjust, it seems. Because our orbits aren't quite matching is the problem. But hey, at least we moved half an hour. They were speeding up because we're a little bit lower orbit than they are. If we're, the closer we are to the ship, I think the less our, well, closer we stay to the ship, maybe, the less our, uh, time warp affects our distance and speed between, okay, so RCS on, and now we need to face this, no, stop rotating, oh, rotate this way, okay, there we go, that might help, hopefully, keep us, no, we're still moving away from it. This is why it's tricky we're using working with so many vehicles all at one time. It's okay. At least as long as we don't get with you know more than a couple kilometers away from this thing, we should be okay. Yeah, okay, that's pretty good. We're actually staying pretty pretty nice and fine here. So now we can switch back to the fuel dump. Let's see about bringing this thing uh, in more. And we can kill this maneuver node. Oh, we can't kill that maneuver node because it's uh, on a different track here. Okay, how far off are we from this point? 13 minutes. Zoom in a little bit here. Now this is where things get really tricky, see, because this thing has no RCS at all. So there's one ship within two kilometers, and here's the... There's another ship here somewhere. I know there is. There it is. The science is over there. So we're good. We're good. So what we need to do now is we actually need to take the science off and attach it to this thing. So let's see if we can get this thing upright. Please? Holy crap. Okay, let's turn the that off. What is it doing? All right, I just want you to be... I don't know which way is upright. I'm spinning it all the wrong way and stuff. So that's part of the problem. Yep, totally spinning it all the wrong way. Excellent work, Munchmo. Excellent work. You know what? We don't need to be prograde. We need to be retrograde. So let's do this, and this should... Didn't I, didn't I just... 
Oh, right there. Okay. Can we move now? This thing is so sluggish, too, which is really a nuisance, but that's okay. That's okay. So once we get this thing uprighted... Like, how is that upright? That is not upright. Is it... Hold on, hold on. What are you doing? I want to be upright. Oh, I see. Oh, I want to switch to... No? Okay, never mind. Stop rotating, please. Please stop rotating. Holy crap, what am I doing wrong here? Alright, here we go. If we put it... Am I controlling it from the wrong spot? Is that part of the problem? Nope, I'm controlling it from the right spot. Okay. Alright, here we go. This'll do. This'll do it. So, once we get this thing positioned correctly, that's better. That's much better. Okay. Like this. Toggle that. Okay. Cool. So now that this thing's in position and close to the sciencer, we actually bring the sciencer to it. We need to switch our target here to the fuel dump. And we need to actually literally bring this ship down on top of that one and just attach them all together. And I realize now that I didn't even need to get this thing here because of the way I can handle this. So, okay, what are you doing? Going the wrong way. I want it to be upside down. Because we're actually going to get rid of this whole stage right here. Because we don't need it. We don't need it. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're getting there. Okay. Like this. And keep it right there. Good. Why do I have a maneuver? I don't need a maneuver. The maneuver's behind me, isn't it? I left that thing there. Goodbye, maneuver. Thank you. Okay. So, let's actually just point towards the target, since that'll be easier for the time being. So that's where we need to get to. And we're going to do this with engines because it's so far away. Okay, there we go. And we will use our RCS to finish off the job here once we get closer. Mm. Stop with the crazy stuff, you stupid SAS. It's great to have, but when you're trying to rotate such an enormous ship, it is such a pain in the butt. It really, really is. Okay, so RCS on. And then we need to get ready to go like this to kill off our momentum. And we have so much speed and such. That this is going to take a little bit of effort here to move this thing around. Oh my god, I'm going to use up all my RCS doing this, aren't I? Yeah, I have a lot. Quickly now, slow it down, slow your roll. Slow your roll. Right on that, there we go. That's where we want to be. Okay, whoa, we're gone too far. No, 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 okay, this is bad. Such a big ship. Oh, this is why I was going to do it. A different way now I know because this thing is so hard to maneuver where the actual our science or itself the little science pod is so much more light and maneuverable it takes much less to work with but I was gonna have to get both of these attached to it anyway so okay all right and let's just kill off that momentum as good as we can why are there lines coming out of this thing what the heck um, what is... Oh my god, I think I broke the game. <laughs> okay, so let's figure out where exactly I am here in relation to my ship. Okay, so we roll it like this. Like this. We want to control from here, right? Get the lander can. So that's where we are, right? And that's the front. Nope, that's backwards. So we need this thing down. Right? Like that? I'm so confused as to what's what here. Okay. So, hold on, hold on. I think I got it. So this thing needs to be... Like 
like this? Is that right? How in the hell is this? Is it like this? All right, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. I think. I think I... Oh my god, I don't got it. I don't got it. I don't got it. Mm. Just need to get close to that thing. Okay, so... Down... That way, which means it's over here. Which means I need to rotate it. Like... So... I don't know what I'm doing here, guys. I'm so sorry. That's... can't figure this out. All these angles are horrid. No, wrong way. Okay, okay. I think I got this angle now. I got this angle. Maybe. Wait, you know what? Where's the door? Is that what I'm doing wrong? Plus, I'm working upside down, which is another big folly of mine. Okay, hold it right there. Now I gotta figure out which way I need to go. Okay. So, to go that way, I need to turn RCS on, and is it this one? Yes, this one. Okay. Perfect. So, this should be getting me closer to my target. Because I need to drop down literally on top of this thing with these four doohickeys to attach, and then just dump all the fuel from here into the fuel dump and get rid of this outer tank. That's my approach. Okay, so we first go with this way. This was such a horrible design. I, my previous modular design was so much better. So much better. Let's um, speed up time a little bit here. Right? Okay. Okay, now which button was I hitting to go this way? I was hitting that button, so I need to hit this one to slow myself down. Okay, now I need to go, is it this way? Yes, perfect, okay, go across this way. So I've actually got this okay. I've got it lined up okay for my face to understand what the heck I'm doing. There we go. All right, luckily we got a bunch of monopropellant on here, so we're good to go. I can use this probe even maybe to deorbit this stupid uh, empty tank and get it out of my way. That'll be awesome. I don't know if it'll work, but I can try. Okay, speed up some more time here. All right, like this. And then once we get it lined up on this angle, we can kill our sideways momentum that way. Hopefully. Is that good? Okay. And then we should be going... Oh, not, not that way. What am I doing? Oh, my buttons were wrong. That way, okay. My hands were on the keyboard wrong! That's okay. Okay, well, we're getting there. Slowly but surely, we're getting there. I'm gonna line this thing up all crazy-like. <laughs> goody, 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 gumdrops. Okay. Here we go. That's not too bad, actually. Of course, then trying to fit two friggin' landers on this thing is gonna be a pain in the butt, too. But I think I'm just gonna ditch a lander. To be honest with you. Okay, wait. We got to stop going that way. Oop, autosave. Actually, I think I'm okay going that way. Once I get above it, it is... Which way is it? It is that way. Yeah, okay. And I'm not going to ram into it yet, right? Nope, not until I'm ready. Thank God. Whew! This is the ballet... Of the Rendezvous, or the Rendezvous Ballet. Yeah, there we go. That's actually a good title for this, isn't it? The Rendezvous Ballet. All right, here we go. We're almost above it, directly. I have to rotate the ships to match up a little bit better, too, but and this might actually come out pretty good. Okay, so we need to slow our roll. Like that. We need to go this way. Oh, crap. Which way did I even go there? This way, good, okay, all right, and this, okay. All right, we're almost exactly on target here. We just need to rotate ourselves to, to match. Okay, we need to stop going that way. 
right? I mean, to, yeah, we totally need to rotate ourselves, like, like that. Is that a good rotation? I think maybe. Here, no, stop! Oh my God, stop! Whatever you're doing, just stop, you fool. And we need. Oh, wrong way! No, 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 no. Hold it right there. Hold it. Okay, so now let's get a little closer in downward. And let's see. Oh, look at that. Our, we're almost lined up perfectly on this thing here-ish. Okay. Okay, yeah, we got work to do here. Doop. Bing. Doop. Just a screenshot because I can. Definitely need to get closer now. A lot closer here. It's just so hard because I can't... I wish I could focus, like, not just control from here, but focus in this point here so I can, like, zoom in and not zoom into the center of this giant ship. That is one of the things that I wish this uh, game allowed you to do. Because I'm controlling from here, but I'm not focused on there. You know, so that's where the problem comes in. Okay, I'm totally not on center either. Whoa, kill our momentum, now that we're closer, because I, I don't like being this zoomed out without being able to do anything about it, you know? I mean, I can't see the fine point of the connections and see both ships, because they're enormous! That's why the smaller modular stuff that I did before was so much nicer. Let's get in there. Okay, we're all getting in there. Oh, we're totally off. We're totally off. Wrong way. Crap. Crap. Okay, we're getting over. Over. So this is why you work in one dimension at a time. Because you never know. Because I'm some people prefer using chase cam. Personally, I'm not a fan of it. It just does. I'd like to be able to just quickly and easily roll my camera. Okay, that's good. Like that. Hold that. Okay. Um, whoa, whoa. We need to stop going in so much. We need to go this way. This way, I said. And then, of course, we have to rotate a little bit to line these things up, and that's going to be the hardest part because we can't zoom in on just the uh, connectors, you know? And then we got to go back. Is it this way? Yep, this way. Okay. We're almost there. Am I doing the wrong thing? I'm doing the wrong thing. There we go. Like that. And now I'm offsides again. Offsides. Another screenshot. Boop. Except I don't like those lines there. Why are those lines there? There, that's a better screenshot, maybe, if ever I've seen one. Okay, so we gotta line this up. No, wrong line up. There we go. Line that up like this. Seven meters. That looks good there. Most of our seven meters are the off-centeredness because I can't seem to do this right. Okay, here we go. We're almost there. Of course, it probably doesn't help that the other ship might be rotating a bit. Okay, how are we? Still not quite on it, so we gotta go this way a little bit. Of course, the lettering doesn't line up very well either, which makes life even harder. Almost, almost, whoa, too much, too much, too much, too much, too much, okay. Oh, wow, we might actually have this fully lined up too. And then let's just push it into place here. A little bit of adjustment, a little bit of adjustment as we go in, like this. Quickly now, adjust. Come on, snap, 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 snap into place, snap. And, oh my god, I did it. Holy crap, I did it. Wow. If that wasn't hard, I don't know what is. That's what she said. Now, there's no space for fuel in there, but there is space for fuel in here. So we're going to dump all of this fuel like that. Which is going to completely screw up the balance of this ship. <laughs> Gotta love it. Got to love it. But that's okay. That is okay. And there it goes. Okay, so now... Next stage is to shut down every single friggin' engine. If only there were an easy way to do that. 
Um, if only I, yeah, that's what I should do. I should set my aborts up to be an engine shutdown of everything. Okay. So now let's decouple this. Let's control just this ship. And let's control from here. Okay, good. So now we're going to see if maybe we can destabilize this thing's orbit enough. So if we put a node here, we just go, whoop, how much... I just need enough to make it hit the planet's surface. It doesn't matter. Like that. Will that be enough? Seven. Now I need to go down a little bit more than that until that thing disappears. There, perfect. Okay, how much is that? 167 meters a second. Wow. Okay, so that's not going to happen. Not even a little bit. So I guess... I mean, I don't want... I, don't, I have all this mono repellent. I could... That's weird. Why does it say there's no mono repellent? Did, oh, did I use all this up? Oh, okay. That's good. You're gone. That tank's just going to float off into oblivion, hopefully. Oh, it's so close. Ah, I didn't. Anyway, this thing's dead. If there's an easy way to kill the thing floating here, it's going to get in my way. But whatever. We got this guy here. Kill the maneuver. So we don't need to worry about that. And what do we have next? We have the Julian Lander. We have the replacements. The replacements are the next to see if we can get them in there I think well the Julian Lander can come in and attach you know what maybe that is the next ideal situation is to bring the Julian Lander in that's that's what I'm gonna do in the next episode thanks for watching guys bye bye